I'm going to take a little walk today, invite you to come along with me. We're in Richmond, Missouri. We're not too far from the square. There's the First Baptist Church. There's the Methodist Church. Um, I talk often about how to stop climate change and the rest of the uh, ecosystem catastrophe by halting this entire high-speed culture we live in and going over to an animal-powered, biological-powered, walking-speed culture. And I did a video series the other day about uh, the, the myth that if we should do that, millions of people would have to die. And... Uh, that's a myth. I know it's widely believed, but it's a myth. But I'm, the other one is, well, we can't get there from here. You know, yeah, we used to live that way, but we can't do it anymore because now we have this and we can't do that. And I want to address that uh, with you for, because this is real. You know, the ecosystem catastrophe is real. And I understand that it's all much more fun to discuss, you know, putting up solar panels and wind turbines and, and uh, blaming the oil companies for being bad people and, and all of that. But the deal is, it's real. Uh, our world is dying, and we can either let it die or not let it die. I advocate that we not let it die. I, I don't have much hope that I'll get recommendations acted on, but I still do it. Okay, the theory is that if we had to move at walking pace, we could not attain the necessary resources to survive. This is a junk shop. This is a shop full of bullshit. Um, there's nothing in here that anyone needs. This used to be a store where you could buy things that you needed. That's a second floor. This is a lodge, uh, the John W. Carter Lodge. That is uh, the uh, black people's lodge. So, <coughs> even in a 6,000 person town, the black people and the white people live in, in separate little subcultures, which is kind of sad. If Every, if we wanted to go over to a walking pace culture, one of the reasons people think that it's impossible is because we have this image somehow that everything that happens happens has to happen all at once. Poof, we'll just throw this switch and the next day there won't be any cars and everybody will be, you know, 60 miles from the grocery store and starving to death and so we can't do it. It's impossible. Um, but that's not ha how it happens. That's not how cars got here. You know, cars didn't come overnight. You know, the Model T was invented back in the 19-teens, and, and farmers were still using horses clear up till the end of World War II. Um, there's a good big dog. There's a good dog. This is an attorney's office. This is a land title company. This is a crap shop. Um, what's happened here is, it, is that what used to be a functional downtown where people could get everything that they needed. You could walk up here, you could take your buggy and come into town on a Saturday and you could buy everything you needed. There were hardware stores, bakeries, butcher shops, uh, green grocers, um, drug stores, clothing stores, shoe stores. You could come to this square on horseback or on foot. If you lived here in town, you could easily come here on foot. If you lived out in the country, you came in on your in your horse-drawn wagon. And you could get everything that you needed from where we're standing right now just in a short walk 
now, although all these buildings still exist, they're mostly uh, shops full of junk. There are title loans, uh, cash loans. That's the county courthouse there. That's the co courthouse of Ray County, Missouri. This here was a gun shop, but it appears they went under, or maybe I don't know. This is a new uh, title loans and, and uh, uh, payday loans. This is a, an industry that exists because our economy doesn't provide opportunities for the bottom half to earn a decent livelihood, and our advertising industry constantly badgers people to want more shit. And the ones who can't resist the advertising are all in debt up to their ears and, and desperately trying to get by. That's A lot of those are the people who voted for Donald Trump because somehow they thought he was going to fix their problem. He's not. Unfortunately, the Democrats aren't either because it's our economy that um, uh, creates all this debt and desperation and, and no one is offering to change it. And no one's going to. These all used to be, these parking places used to all have uh, uh, buggies in them and horses in them. This property is being considered for conditional use permit by the Planning Commission for residential use. So it looks like maybe somebody wants to build a apartment out of this building. You can see upstairs there, it's a two-story building. Used to have apartments in it. They want to build them again. This one here is more lawyers. All this fancy looking rock. That's all fake. They put that on since I moved here 30 years ago. This one here is uh, Farrell D. Hockemeyer, attorney at law. That's another lawyer. <coughs> He's the scion of an old farm family here in the county. This is a photography shop. This person's relatively new in town. And I hope that she makes a living. I hope that she makes a go of it. I hope that this, her efforts provide her a livelihood. Oswald Crow Agency. This is an insurance agency. This is where the... Uh, uh, Humane Society gets their insurance. This was the Bot Radio Network. Now it's for sale. This is a uh, a uh, uh, religious broadcaster. Another real estate agency. Or either this is real estate for sale. No, this is real estate for sale. This is uh, my insurance agent. I insures my cars and trucks. This is another insurance agent. See, you actually can't buy anything worth having, but you used to be able to. This was Ed Wolf's, and it was a junk shop, but he retired, and so now it's a closed junk shop. This is a, uh, this was a copy shop briefly, but they never could make a living at it. That over there was a bank. If you look down that street, all those are shops. The Auto Plus sign, the, the first shop that faces that street on your left, that's where I get my auto parts. That's a family store, and they're all friends of mine. Those other little shops, they were shops. There's the old uh, car dealer. Once upon a time, it was other things. The car dealer, of course, had to move out by the Walmart because they can't sell cars in, in downtown. The reason this is dead is because of all the cars. You know, this didn't die of, of uh, any inevitable. There's no inevitable reason that this had to die. It's had to die because it's more efficient to be, <coughs> pardon me, to drive out to the edge of town, go to the Walmart, and you can buy everything under one roof. Of course, you have to walk farther than you walk to go around this block. It's another junk shop. Most of, of uh, small, this used to be a drugstore. When I moved here, this was a drugstore. This was part of the drugstore. The one up there that's the uh, 
uh, instant debt store. That was a drug store when I moved here. Um, most of downtowns and small towns are now junk shops because there's nothing... Nobody comes here for anything they need, and so the objective is to try to sell to them things people want. This is uh, Gabriella's Garden. It's just a little spot. It's a little park, a little public park. This was a building. It was between that building and that building, and, and it burned down, and there's no reason to build a new building in a downtown, you know? I mean, it's, it's uh, the whole... The entire economy has moved out to the edge of town. There's no money down here, you know. Here's another junk shop. It's the Town Square Mercantile. If we wanted to have a living economy, if we wanted to have a living ecosystem, this is a license bureau where you get your car licensed. There's a bank. What we would have to do to have a living ecosystem is we would have to fund uh, store operators to move into these junk shops and sell things people needed. Fund somebody to be a bakery. Fund somebody to be a butcher. Fund somebody to be a greengrocer. We would have to pay those, the costs of running those businesses because um, they can't make a profit at it. But if the resources were available, and then we said to people, we'll provide you a livelihood if you just get rid of your car and sign a contract that you won't fly and that you will come here and do all your shopping. Okay, this is just one little spot, but you understand that that's the Chamber of Commerce. They're desperate, of course, trying to figure out a way to make a living. Um, the uh, the objective is to create a small-scale functional economy that can be reached without cars. And you have to go at it from both ends at once. One, you have to get people to give up their cars. And two, you have to get people to, instead of opening junk shops down here, open bakery shops. I mean, if people didn't want to be shop owners, they wouldn't be opening junk shops on the square. Nobody needs any junk. People just want to be shop owners. There's a prosecuting attorney's office. People want to be merchants. It's one of the things that people want to do. And so, all these junk shops down here, these are just people who want to be merchants, who are trying to to scratch out a living and we could create an economy in which they could make a living. My grandfather in Shelby, Iowa used to go meet the train with a big heavy duty wagon called a dray wagon and a team of horses and the he would then just go around the square in Shelby, just like this square, and he would take everything that all the merchants had bought and deliver it to them. And they would pay him to do that. Now that was a, a one, it was, it was like UPS only, it wasn't one nationwide corporation. It was one man with seven children earning a living by serving the small merchants this here's a bail bonds, you know, you, every, every town's got to have a, a bondsman, especially if you have uh, an automobile culture where it is illegal to drink and go home. So, these, these buildings, and although this is a small town, here's another, here's the realty company. Here's another law office. 
Here's another law office and an insurance agent. Here's a title company. This is it, people. We could do this. The only thing we lack is the desire. We actually, if it comes down to it, if the choice is slow down or die, we'll take die.